Capcom guys. Today we have a Dota Underdog game and we're going to be trying a different build. We had a request to check into Majors, but it is a little harder to force them, unlike the other builds. To force a Mage, you really need lots of Mages before round 10. Or my trap Primordials with 4 Primordials. Yeah, Face of Void is interesting. We're going for some Mage items. Because it's not only hard to force mages, also you, it's harder to find mage items. There's like one fifth of the item that works with mages. Everything else kind of works with physical damage. Well, that's a mage. Level plastic guy. I don't think I need that. It could work though. Ah, uh, yeah. The only problem if you buy plasticer, you get more plasticer. <laughs> it's the nature of things. I think I'll do it. Yeah. I'm actually not going to run a losing streak, because for Majors it's not as beneficial to run a losing streak. Reason being is that Majors, you can't get lots of good Majors. You can only get Ogre and Razor and also Crystal Maiden. Oh, oh gosh. He actually beat me. How? Actually, I don't mind to lose. I have a losing streak, but how did he beat me? Uh, should I keep Tiny? He always a brownie though. <laughs> yeah, just as an alternative, if we don't get mages, we can go with brownies. I thought I was strong. I should be strong. This is what we do. Yeah, yeah. Alchemist is okay. Storm is really good. That's another mage. That's another brownie. Okay, look at X. Hmm. Yeah, we're going for losing streak now. <laughs> now, if I didn't have the other losing streak, it's okay to go with a win streak. Now that I have two losing streak, it will be more beneficial. So round two is the time I, I'm happy to switch out of losing streak. Now, what I need to think about is: Do I go for brownies or do I go for majors? It's actually more favor for brownies right now, the majors, because there's only two mage. Everything else works with brownies. Plastic is not a great brownie combo because it kills them. <laughs> if it kills the enemy, you know, brownies don't get the kills. <sighs> if I had to come earlier, it would be really good. Brownie mage. <laughs> it's a possible. Actually, it can be possible, right? Six, four brownies and six mages. Can we make it, guys? What do you think? If we go for Brownie Mage, we'll have to get the Brownies down. I'll we'll go for Brownie Mage just now. It's confirmed. Brownie Brute Mage. Mm, yeah, we don't go for anything else. Oh, I was really hoping for Beastmaster. <laughs> yeah, Volik. <laughs> go for Brownie <laughs> Brownie Mage. So we get the four Brownies in, then we get the three Mage, then six Mage. We won't get any three star Brownie though, at this rate. What's that, the Blastica? Blastica was still too many kills. Oh, he's on a losing streak. Well, <laughs> no kills for me and broke my losing streak. Damn. I think he disconnected. But he was running a losing streak, anyways. So, Brownie Majors. Oh, he's going for Brownie and Legion. I hope he doesn't get Legion anytime soon. If I get a 2 star Beastmaster and Juggernaut, he starts off a really good Brownie Mage. Of course, we don't need Bristle back. We can go for Disruptor here. Or we can switch to Juggernaut. Not great. Don't have a losing streak. Look at the in soon. Oh, he left as well. Damn. If only he left one round earlier. Now the downside is there's less players. And that means the games are quicker, which is not favoring brownies, because we want longer fights for more kills, and also we want the mages. More mages, and that's late game. What probably lose here? <laughs> Easy top 6, I know, right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> if you think about that, that's really good. Can we even kill one? If we kill the Barrider, we'll have a chance to kill Chaos Knight too. And Dragonite is the source of damage here. Damn. <laughs> Should have given the dragon out, right? Losing's okay. Although we don't have a losing streak, losing gives us a free graph, which I do need it for brownies. This is actually pretty good for brownies. He softened them up. Uh, 
Uh, we'll go for Christmas. <laughs> X with mana is kind of silly. <laughs> Let him do the main tank. Okay. Oh, a juggernaut. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I will have to chill because I want to buy both. I want to free draw. I also want an extra gold. Keeper was still on the kills. It's okay. We won't get keeper anytime soon at this rate. Keeper won't come anytime soon. Ah, no more, bro. No more. <laughs> no more. Can we get some lucky kills? Let's not fire. Yeah, this is a little delayed, Brownie. Because we're keeping a few things. Storm Spirit? Oh, that's right. We're going for mages. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be hard. A brownie without enough kills will not be a good brownie. Okay, that's good. Ah, no more brownie. Unfortunate. If I put those down, I'll be too strong, but let's be strong. No, I need to be strong. Because <laughs> with less people, we lose too much if we keep losing. We have those coming. Once we get those, we put down the brownies. Right now, we're just using the axe as a brute mage, pretty much. We'll oh, get the brownies. Oof. Axe gets some kills, buddy. Actually, we might lose here. That Chaos Knight is like so angry. <laughs> He's so, so angry. I think we lose here. The Chaos Knight kills Axe and kills Razor easily. Yeah, Brownie needs early spending, or Axe needs, or uh, the Brownies, the Mages needs to level up. <coughs> it's a hard balance. It can work really well if I had the early Brownie kills. Oh, and there's Axe and the Storm, not bad. Would have better to lose. I agree. My, maybe I should have tried to lose there. Now that we have those kind of things, we might be rolling at level eight. So this will kind of complement on the fact we didn't get enough brownies. We'll roll at level eight for them. And now we stabilize pretty nicely. We're pretty much. It's a brownie to come. There's one brownie player. He does have a two star beast master too. And now we lose. <laughs> He's gonna farm us with his axe. Now I keep calling him beast master axe sometimes. Now we lost. Not a bad loss. Downside is we can't get the economy from the losing streak, which is okay. We can't have the best off both things. Roll level 9? Yeah, I think rolling level 9 is also not bad. It depends though if we have the 2 star brownies or not. Uh, let's roll once. Hey, hey, hey. Open up a slot for Juggernaut to go in. We'll be level up again because we're mages. Juggernaut also amplifies his damage from mages, so it's not bad. It opened up a spot for Juggernaut, so he spins on the front lines. Juggy! Juggernaut! <laughs> That's how he screams when he spins. Look at this Juggernaut, he's buff by Ogre. Kills Juggernaut, he killed four. Big boy. Love up here. Yeah, three to four kills. We got five kills for Brown, he's really good. Perfect. It's a perfect. Oh, damage anything. So I could have tried that. Support Juggernaut. I could only try the aggressive tank, I reckon. Actually, I don't need a lot of tanking, do I? Yeah, we go for go for support. This battle is about to begin. The reason we go for support is because well he does have a stun, give us attack speed. The brownie can use attack speed. And 
Th those choices are not great. We want to support Doom, we want to support NSX, we want offensive Hogan. We missed everything. <laughs> so the choices were not great. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow. Yeah, I love playing Brownie games, and Brownie Mages will be so fun, right? This is a uh, power spike for us. We got the three allies. We have most units to start. And Jagannath should be able to kill them all. Walk up one, buddy. Walk up one step further. Jagannot. He needs one spin to win. Spin to win. Once he spin, he's immune to them. So we got three kills on the Jagannot. Not bad. We stay on the kills. Don't need to see damage, right? I need a beast faster. Now, if I start rolling here, would it be beneficial? Hmm. Yeah, Dragonaut loves mages. If the Druid wasn't there, the first spin for Dragonaut would be great. He does pretty good damage too. Hey! Huh. This is the tricky thing. If I go for Cloak, well, it's okay. I think I'll. <laughs> but Brownies, I'd love to go. I'd love to go with Cloak. Don't put me in the front. I don't like now, there's a problem with it. Which is that if you go for Cloak. I'll give it to Stomper. If you go for Cloak, Jagannath loses a bit of physical damage. He's more tanky. If you give it to Axe, he doesn't have enough kills. That's the only problem with Cloak. Vanguard, we can give it to Axe easily. And that works all the time. Yeah, Cloak, Jagannath is okay. I'll probably go for level ups. Looks like I brought along the right oh, we can roll here. Yeah, we'll probably should this row. Why is that is because we're on low tier units. Other than Jagannath, everything's pretty low tier. So if we roll here, there's a better chance we get a pair than we level up. Togo can win here. Axe can win. Yeah, we got him. Axe, take your kills. Axe getting them kills. Hit this one, Axe. He's a brute. He's gonna summon one more. Let us summon. No, he couldn't get the kills. <laughs> we start rolling. We're all four hundred to two. Start the window up. <laughs> We're just stealing them with kills. I know. But Axe got four though. I'll give it to him. Give him this Axe now. Axe with four kills, actually. What do you do this way? Ah, perfect. Get the razor, whatever. We'll make them remember our name. I also digs into economy, but it's okay. We're building a small win streak, and if we secure the win streak, it may be worth it. Poor Ogre though. Oh no, look at this Juggernaut! I switch Razor and Juggernaut next time. That's a terrible positioning. I'm literally using one less unit to beat him. The Juggernaut's not moving. Very unfortunate. If he moved, he would have got some kills, right? Got two? You got three. No, no, he's not getting three. Sometimes, you know, things like that happen. So we don't put Dragonaut behind. We put Dragonaut in the front, in the middle now. Silly Dragonaut. Do it this way. Storm will be nice. Axe is good. Hoka is optional. Keep in mind, Mage just wants to level up. So we're sticking true with leveling up. We'll be leveling up again. Probably after this run, we'll level up. And also, the win streaks justify for that. Is it like in chess where you don't develop any pieces? <laughs> I know, come on. I'm worried that the build won't be able to complete in time with six players. Yeah, that's the only thing. Six players won't let us to go to level 10 that quickly. Double raises though. Ah, the brownies are dying. The raises are doing it though. We're just getting them kills. Uh, I don't think it's worth it for Legion here. Because she doesn't benefit much from majors. She only gets the brutes and brownies. Not enough, I think. Be better. I need the Juggernaut to not get blocked. But sometimes he gets blocked and then he dies. 
get those. Nothing too special. Yeah, we need to spend deep. Even because we lost, we want to spend deep. Because the stronger we are, likely we get some kills. Juggernaut's on 11 axes on. Juggernaut should get the cloak, I reckon. Yeah, two axes would be much better. Because both of them taunt for Juggernaut, so he can spin safely. Spin to wing. It's not getting them kills. Need a be smarter here. Damn, even Oka stealing them kills. And Juggernaut got one finally. Two? Three! Juggernaut! <laughs> That's my boy. Eight with Chrysalis, he is more damage. Like, up more outputting damage. If we get a big smart or anything, we'll have up. We probably should consider rolling at level 8 because Disruptor and also Lich. Oh, Tangle is perfect. And it's Razor's nice. You're only on level 8, it's good. Oh, facing. We're facing knights. We're facing a few things. No one really summons. <laughs> but if they summon, they probably launch it, right? Mm. Double X with six <laughs> scrappy brownies. Uh, Juggernaut is really a perfect spot. It spins out to everyone. Juggernaut's spin is magical, so he amplifies his damage from ages. Spin for win. Once he spins, it kills him fast, because they are not defensive against magic. Oh, uh, we got big kills, not bad. One might not go for a 3 Sauger. Probably can't afford it. Okay, Juggernaut's getting the cloak now. Ooh. Maelstrom Juggernaut could work. Not many majors to use the cloak. So we go for Maelstrom. How is spinning a sword magical? It is magical because <laughs> this is actually the highest source of damage. Yeah, Maelstrom Razor. That's right. I'll go for Maelstrom Razor. Also go for Voice Storm, Storm Spirit. Actually, Voice Storm Razor is good too. Because I want Razor to AoE so Juggernaut gets more kills. They soften the enemy up. That's the plan. Tomorrow the round, we'll have up. And people are pretty healthy. We'll make it late game, I reckon. Look at this Juggernaut. 2.2k HP now. Yeah, once Razor softened them up, oh, 3k HP now. I don't know what happened to his HP initially, but he got more of them now. Axe Wizard data list. Another is the Crystal list. Two kills. That's okay. Safely getting them kills. Disruptor will be pretty crucial. Uh, Bristleback is also here. Bristleback does get the mana game from humans, though. Let's have a look who's the highest damage here. Damage, double razor, and storm. Let's go, brute mages. Only those. I might start to keep some warlocks very soon. Okay, never. Next one. Rolling level 8 will help us to find a few things. Also, you know, enough chances to for Beastmaster as well. He's going for Brute Druid with Legion. Oh, what, what, why is he using the Legion? What? What? I, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, what, what is he doing? <laughs> He's keeping a second team here. <laughs> he gets me. Juggernaut is the yeah, 3k HP Juggernaut. Very tanky. Unfortunately, he's facing knights, and the knights are so tanky too. In the end, we don't have any brownies left. Only mages left. Oh, he got me. <laughs> the big train protector got us. Also, we lost quite a bit of HP here. That's pretty level. I have two pairs, and now I'm sort of rolling for three. That reason now. 
Level 10 will be the ultimate go for the four brownies and six majors and brutes. <laughs> oh, it creates a hurricane when he spins. That's a good idea, actually. Axe upgrade, 10 armor, solid HP. 25 kills, disruptor, small, small chance of disruptor. Keep okay, this good. Uh, I don't think I forced the keeper down this round, to be honest. That's so I want to keep the economy. Happy to lose the ogre, maybe even Juggernaut. Oh, he found the three star beast master. <laughs> That's what he's rolling for. Oh boy, something that kills. A triple razor, the lightning rod team. Need some warlocks to look for disruptor. Yeah, what's that rolling? We'll have two axe, two razor. Oh, weakening them. Triple razor. Wait, it's a perfect AoEs. <laughs> the damage taken. Let's look at kills. Hey, axe got two. <laughs> Jagannath did not do enough. Uh, we could go for one keeper. But I don't think it does much. Because it'll be too slow to cast unless we give to the Void Storm. Which we can. I'm really frontline keeper. Let's roll. Ah, uh, three star storm. Better than Olga. It feels good to be in white spire. For me, those. I will want the Juggernaut. Very expensive, but we do want him. Uh, people are finding three stars though. Plain to be fast. So the axe and razor are the top priority here. I should beat him, right? Last time he beat me. This time he... He might still beat me. <laughs> the Keeper will cast fast. With a uh, Voice Stone Keeper will cast fast enough, I think. The Keeper will cast. Now we just want to win. X got one kill. Make sure he kills still, buddy. <laughs> kill still. No, he died. The Keeper usually kills, kills still, so that's true. I'll switch the Juggernaut and Storm here. Will bring honor and discipline to what <sighs> Beastmaster. I might not need the Beastmaster because he's a physical axe. His axe is a physical, so it's better to have Disruptor here, maybe. Actually, we do need Beastmaster because there's a. <laughs> there's a. What do you call it? There's four Brownie coming. Ah, uh, four Brownies here. Oh my. Lux the Storm? Yeah, we lose the Storm. Ah, I can't get off for brownies though. They're kind of awkward. Because <laughs> the Beastmaster and Bristol, they're two one stars. We don't want that. All we do is. I should swap the Chris Mayday in over the Razor or Storm. We keep rolling. Or might lose the Juggernaut. We give up on the three star Juggernaut maybe. This is when not having enough HP and also enemy having a three star brownie would be pretty painful for us. The Hogan is a good counter to him, because of percentage damage. If we survive long enough. No, not the HP. He's farming me now. He's got the four brownies too. Right, I want none of this. Yeah, this is the hard part for this build. So, what we're gonna do is. Could do this. On this, uh, bristle back. We down this. Still the bristle back build. Don't have anything. I'll have to row. Can I find a disruptor? I'll find another bristle back. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, game. I have to sell something. I'll give up the juggernauts. I'm favoring more raises for more AoE damage. Might be I don't have to do that. Now I really want to roll for a 3 star. If I don't get a 3 star or 2 star, it might not be enough. So with the brownie kills, only 800. Might not even be worth it to get the Beastmaster in for now. It's only a 1 star. Ah, missing 1 set of AoE damage. There you go. We got the last set of AoE damage. With last set, last set of AoE damage, we just killed him barely. 
shield. Jack and I are back. Now we row. We have everything ready. If we're level 10, we're super strong. But this is the balance. If I go for level 10 here, I think the brownie player would destroy me. So I want to get my 3 stars and then go for level 10. Losing the Juggernaut is okay. Nothing I can do for now. 19 kills on Razor. <sighs> okay, food. Please don't be like this game. Oh gosh. Where are the. Okay. Thank you, game. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. I even bought too much. I didn't need to buy them off in there. But hey, it's a 3 star axe now. <laughs> Much better. We're rolling for the Razor now. We're off the Razor, we're off the Bristle back. Oof, I can't beat him though. No. He's like the mighty tank of them all. I also want a Beastmaster. Come on now. Axe needs to change his position. He needs to be where the Juggernaut is. Because he's literally farming us. Of course, he is a more solid build. If you think about it, he is more balanced. So I should really position against him. To do so, we might do it this way. Okay, running later. Do you ever just three mages and not really? Uh, not really, I think. You either go mages, you commit. Otherwise, the damage is not really great, to be honest. Ah. I bring with me uh, should I roll a little deeper? Ah, uh, let's roll a little deeper. Oh gosh. <laughs> I lose the crystal maiden. I lose the storm. Storm is nice, a mage. But we got a ditch. We got a ditch here. I want to get the. I want to get a Razor 3 star and also find the Beastmaster and Bristleback before I level up. That's why I haven't been leveling up. I do need to level up pretty badly. So right now I'm stuck in between for both. Yeah, he got me too. <laughs> oh gosh. This is when this build is not well designed because we're delaying the level ups. And Mage just wants to level up. Brownie wants the three stars. If I level up, I need, I need lots of gold to level up actually. Let's level up for six mages. Not really anymore. Actually, Peace Master came off. Gosh, just want to set up. Actually, yeah, we still level up. Ah, I need to sell something. Good. A moment. No razor. Cut the chin. Ah, I got him on morphine run. Yeah, what's happening right now is I think I lose a bit of brownie. I still have the majors. I am favoring him for more damage. This will have more damage with majors. And hopefully, you know, the brownies are coming later. That's better. So the brownie wasn't doing that much because they didn't have enough HP. Having 500 less HP on the brownie is okay. We're on level 9 because we need to find the razor, we need to find the... We need to find the keeper as well. Bristleback is waiting for Disruptor now, pretty much. Ugh, don't need Bristleback, I can't afford the Morphling. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna lose big time. I'm too greedy. Next time, we'll try to adjust these brownie mages with... It's hard to adjust though, that's... They kind of... They don't complement each other. <laughs> they go against each other, that's a problem. Oh, can we beat this brownie player? If it can, it would be massive. 
think we're beating him. Crystal Mage froze the beast master. We got him. Yeah, we got him. Oh boy, that's a massive one. Because he was unstoppable to me, so it's better to go for mages here than for brownies, definitely. With has six mages, we'll go for that. Final part is gonna be six brownies in the end with disruptor. Need a razor. <laughs> Damage wise. Mm, we getting the Venomet to help the frontline tank. Who to take the Venomet though? Let's do it this way. Don't need a storm. Don't need more thing. Ah, it's so expensive. It's not that I don't need them, but rather... Oh, Disruptor came. Oof, I need a Disruptor. <laughs> That's for sure. I kind of don't want to lock, but Disruptor will be the final piece first. So close. <laughs> Everyone's so low as well. So if we had more players, I think it would have done much better. We had less players. So we're pretty much just a Brute Mage with a Brownie tank. This is a player I think I lost to earlier. Maybe not. It's a boss target for my Apex speed. I have to lock for the Disruptor, right? Do I? No, we don't lock for the Disruptor. I don't think I can fit the Disruptor. I can't fit the Disruptor at this moment. We look for him after, if we get to level 10, if ever. We'll have to find the Morphling, we'll have to find those two. And right now, it's a small brownie mage, not a big one. If you're level 10, I easily put Disruptor. Let him go. Oh, it's good. I need to go for a Monroe. If I get a Razor, I'll sell the Beastmaster, get the Razor thing. Okay, two star keeper now. Oh, the brownie player died too. This is the three star knight player with dragons. Let's hope we can do it. Show me what you got. He is spreading out, which it's okay. I got the mages. Axe will top them. Good. And we're breaking them because keepers casting very fast with the boy storm. Hey, brownie mages. Yeah, I didn't keep the disruptor. Maybe I should have kept the disruptor. But if I kept the disruptor, I might have not have to go to roll for the keeper here. Now the brownie mages are not kicking enough kills. Perfect. This is what we want to level up. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> this is why I want to level up now. Not worth it to roll for Lich just by himself. Now I wish I had a disruptor. They can't run from the light. Mm, let's see. He haven't changed his position yet. I won't have to go to level up. Either one of us will die first because there's no neutron. But you see what I'm doing here. I'm balancing the three stars and also the brownies. It's a hard balance, but unfortunately we can't find Razor for so long. That's what made us weaker. And I'll can't find the Beastmaster for a while as well. It's gonna die next round. Either here or I die. Let's logically look at this. I need 40 gold to level up. And even if I lose the next round, I will not make it. So I'll draw for the Lich here. Oh, that's a Disruptor. Okay. Here we go. That's everything we wanted, except we wanted the Disruptor as well. So you guys see where we're going. Once with the small players, we could have had the Disruptor, and that would be the final build. Four Brownie and six Mages. Keep us casting pretty fast. He doomed the Beastmaster, that's okay. Lich. Yeah, the three stars is kicking up, right? He's gone. We did it, guys. <laughs> he got the Juggernaut, but little did he know the Juggernaut is not gonna save him. Perfect. Brownie Mages with 40 kills only. You'll make it to 1200 HP. The Juggernaut have lots of HP there because he had a cloak going. And, you know, 
I think he had about 4,000 HP there. Axe had close to three, actually. Axe had 5,000 HP there, I think. So it was a really good frontline tank. And what I realized in the mid game is that I wasn't doing it with four brownies. The four brownies and the three mages wasn't getting enough kills. I switched to two brownies and the mages with the brutes to slow the enemy down. And having a bit of the support item, we were able to burst the enemy down before they killed us. How this build will be even stronger is that you start with early game Beastmaster, Juggernaut, and Axe, and you get those units with the three majors, you get the Ogre for the Brutes, and you build on top of that. Similar to what I'm doing, but luckier in finding your three stars. Sometimes you don't need three stars if you're not close, and at those times you can quickly level up to 9 and 10 and have the whole combo. The biggest difference maker is whether you have enough kills on the brownies. The brownie mages can work, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hey, it's an old school one. Back in DSC, we used to run this all the time.